Hello everyone and welcome to the stream. This is Otaku Showboat. Today is Sunday, April 5th, 2020. If you have been watching the VODs on YouTube, please be sure to comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and if you are so inclined, head on over to twitch.tv slash Otaku Showboat, leave a follow to be notified when I go live Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays from 10 a.m. to approximately 1 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time, you can do all of the social stuff through the links below the video, including supporting Pyandon's mods development at patreon.com slash Pyandon, and myself at patreon.com slash otaku showboat. So, stuff, things. Uh, there's been, there's, there's a few updates to the Pi Suite that just went through, and, uh, one that hasn't, but will, soon. Uh, that will have a very direct impact on the entirety of my base. Uh, and that is, uh, so natural gas is finally being nerfed. Hey, that, that's a thing, right? You just, yeah, just came. What did you miss? Yeah, just not, not, nothing yet. We're, we're, we're still paused. So, uh, so yeah, natural gas is being, uh, nerfed by a factor of slightly more than 10. Uh, it is going from what was effectively 1,000 kilojoules to uh, 90. <laughs> so from uh, from from like 1,000 kilojoules or one megajoule for the natural gas down to 90. <laughs> yeah, that that's gonna be fun. Uh, so I will have to refactor a lot of things. Uh, but we have gotten a a natural gas combustion mixture recipe. So we at least have that, a 600C combustion mixture recipe for natural gas. Yeah, tiny nerf. A tiny nerf, you know, factor of slightly more than 10 reduction to the natural gas fuel value coming eventually. It's not in this current version that I have, so all that. Good morning, Ave. It is definitely a day. So, uh, what does this effectively mean? Uh, this means that I will... Hey, it's a... It's a good thing that I didn't destroy this natural gas. It's a good thing I didn't destroy this natural gas here, because I'm going to, like, convert this to sin gas... Uh, and use it to fuel this, because, uh, yeah, with the fuel value going down by a ton, and then having the glassworks also have an increase in its, uh, consumption. Uh, so this Mark II machine now consumes 33 megawatts, uh, each, uh, of power, uh, of a fluid uh, value worth of power so that's a thing now i think it was a factor of 17 that uh immortal pushed the consumption rates up at uh on these glassworks so yeah that's that's another thing so probably needless to say if natural gas goes down to 90 kilowatts uh and these things consume 33 megawatts that's a little bit of a problem That's a that's a little bit of a problem, uh, and consider Syngas has a fuel value I believe of four hundred. Uh, well, it it's fine for now, it's fine for now with the natural gas still at one, but I will have to retool a lot of stuff. Uh, I will actually convert this to Syngas rather than keep it as coal gas, because syngas is more, well, it's a less dense resource with a higher fuel value. You get more units of syngas per unit coal gas, and it has higher fuel value. Uh, fuel oil, I think, also is changing to 0.8, to like 800 kilojoules, but... So something else is changing. I need to actually 
Let me let me look at the at the thingy. Let me let me look at the thingy as my. Let's see. Uh, uh acetylene got a fuel value. Hey, by the way, acetylene now has one megajoule fuel value. In case you were wondering, acetylene now has uh, a one megajoule fuel value. Where is? I need to actually bring up petroleum handling again. Uh, da da da. So this fixed to natural gas changes the fuel oil fuel value to yeah uh, 800 kilojoules, 0.8 megajoules. Uh, what is the fuel value for crude? Well, now crude has a fuel value of uh, 80 something. Crude, if I can find crude, where is crude? Crude. Crude is 82 and a half kilojoules. So crude is now 82.5 kilojoules as of this moment right now. Uh, so it goes from 82.5 to point to 800 to 800 when you convert it to uh, fuel oil. Um, but even fuel oil isn't the highest uh, because things like gasoline uh, and diesel, I think, still do have higher fuel values. So if I have a look all the way over at my main part of the base and look at wherever the heck I have the gasoline. Uh, so the gasoline has a one megajoule fuel value. How does getting the acetylene from coke compare to coke itself in terms of fuel value? Uh, I don't know. I haven't done that math. I... Uh, let's see. It's... What is this? This is... How much is 12 again? Is that 150? Yeah, that's 150. It's uh, 15 coke per second into 150 acetylene. Uh, coke has a fuel value of what, 5 megajoules each? So... Yeah, math. Math is hard. Math is hard. So 150 of acetylene makes acetylene be uh, basically 150 megajoules versus the 15 times 5 that it takes in, uh, which is 75. So it, uh, it doubles. It doubles the fuel value, the effective fuel value. It, it's times two versus the uh, Coke at one megajoule on the uh, on the acetylene. When the update goes through and this actually has fuel value. Because right now acetylene doesn't actually have a fuel value. And by the way, there is a recipe to make combustion mixture out of acetylene. Just, just by the way, that exists now. Uh, so anyway, that's uh, a lot of talk about things that are going to be changing uh, shortly, uh, and I need to focus on the things that I need to do right now that uh, don't have any impact on what is coming. I can do a lot of that, those changes off screen. And so I will do a lot of those changes off screen if I actually get around to doing it I have been very much uh, very much engrossed in Animal Crossing New Horizons you know this this game that released a couple weeks ago that's uh, this very relaxing game that I just have not done any time travel in whatsoever but have still managed to put in 12 plus hours in a day of that game. 
I even had Catherine of Sky visit me yesterday. That was fun. I had several people visit me yesterday because they the the clothing store was selling vampire costumes. <laughs> The, the clothing store was selling vampire costumes, so people came over to buy my vampire costumes. And commoner kimonos. And uh, probably a whole bunch of other stuff as well. She gave me my fruit that I was missing. So that was nice. And I gave her all of the girly clothes that the game has shoved onto me. <laughs> because, you know, the, ga the game has a lot of clothes. It just keep throw kept throwing me a whole bunch of these these girly costumes like a dollhouse dress. So it's like here, take t please, 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 KOS, just take some of this that I will never wear. <laughs> anyway, uh, so last time we did this, we did this last time, this, all this. So yeah, that was a that was a mission. Yeah, it's Paidu without logistics. Right. Right. You've got... Are you... Hold up. Is there a problem here? Gosh, I hope not. Am I not actually... Throughputting enough? I might not be throughputting enough. Hold up. You there. You are declining. Okay, I just had to make sure that we were decreasing in the stuffs. But, yeah. So, we're making a whole bunch of uh, molten nickel now. Not as much as we could be had we gone all the way to high grade, but... Uh, yeah, I don't think it's going to be very necessary on this particular map to go all the way up to uh, to high grade. That uh, that will be not required for many, many things. So, what do we need to do next? Well, the plan was to do molten-based nichrome. And the thing about molten-based nichrome is you sort of need the chrome part of that. We've got, we've got the nye. We've got the nye part of the nichrome. Now we need the actual chrome part of the nichrome and that also needs to happen as a uh, molten form now i haven't actually decided yet what i'm going to do about that exactly uh, because right now what i have is a setup uh to grade three chromium uh, i think because i didn't have grade four yet access when I built the thing. So I want to... I basically have to decide now. Is that what I think it is? Am I... I am backed up on... Nexalit. Also, how that was not right. I don't know. I am backed up on excellent. Wow. I did. I I am amused slightly. How? How did this happen? Oh, hey, we've got. We've got the new icons for pie industry now for a few of the items, not the not the tanks. We've got we've got new pie industry icons, a, f a few of them. That was that was the first thing I noticed. I was like, wait a minute, what the hell is that? <laughs> okay, so we have we have new sinkhole icons as as well as new uh, gas vent and burner and accumulator, and even the local radar and the megadar. All right, cool. Now we need the tanks, and the valves, and the pipes, and the walls, and the sheds, and the storehouses, and the warehouses. And, I don't know, maybe all the tiles, too. 
Eventually. Eventually. So. As I said, at, now that I'm at the mall. Uh, so we have this. Right now. We have, uh, we have this. On the, on the chrome. Do you remember the chrome build? I remember the chrome build. Ha, huh, you need, you need the everything, yes. The everything must be updated. It must be consistent! It must be consistent! I also have a bit of a, a backlog of, uh, chromite sand going on. Just, uh, just a little bit of a backlog of the chromite sand going on. Uh, so I have a, I have a bit that can go into the molten chromium. Uh, so this was supposed to be temporary. As was all of this. Uh, so basically, all of this needs to die if I am going to upgrade to grade four processing. Uh, so if I bring up the hell mod. Do I still have, or do I have at all, uh, chromium in this? Or did I replace it? Did I replace it? Chromium. Uh, so this is the what we have now. Right in here. If I were to, say, add in... No, that's that's making of the stuff. Alright, I can add the rejects because the rejects come from the uh, grade 4. So what I can do here, shove those down, shove that down, is, uh, and the matrix solver is on, that's good. That gives me... Remove that. That into G4. That into G3. I think. Alright, I think we're good by doing that. And then the grade 4 could go into the pulps. So in order to actually do the gold processing setup, I will have to go through all of the uh like pulp 7 root of uh chromite. So but do I do that now? That is of course uh the question of the day. It's like do we do this now? Uh because this will be so sodium hydroxide in yay. Uh, and then that's arrow float. Yeah, I th I knew that there was a, uh, a a slight problem trying to go forward here. Uh, there's a slight problem in that this is this is arrow float 15, which is the bane of I'm sure everyone's existence. Uh, uh, so the arrow float, the reason why it's the pain, uh, is it needs this. Uh, Phosphorus pentasulfide, which is going to consume phosphate rocks, which is going to consume phosphate rocks, uh, as well as phenol and nexalit. You know, just just ca casual stuff, right? Very very casual stuff. Uh, yeah, see about. Phenol. See, about phenol, probably easiest to actually do this to get the phenol. But of course, we're not actually going to get any of this because we are set to ingredient input. So it's not actually going to tell us how much stuff I need unless I split it out and ask it for the amount input um, on the 26.05. So I have to actually take all of this and put it into a separate block entirely. Thank you, Helmod, for absolutely nothing. 
for absolutely nothing. And that, and yeah, this is this is going to be a bit much, and this is going to take a long, long time, long time to actually do. And it's something I would rather have planned out ahead of time. So the Great Fortichromite Sand uh, apparently gives 83.4 and is 63 solid saps. Wow. And is 63 solid saps compared to how many do I have here now? 75. So it's a few less, a few fewer. Just a, a few fewer. But uh, again, it's like, do I go through the effort? Uh, so 83.34 uh, compared to, we're gonna, we're actually just gonna copy this and uh, paste it and then ingredient input 75 kill, kill, kill. Chromite, 58.34. Yes, a few fewer. If fuel consumption broken completely for you two in Helmod. Uh, Helmod does not handle fluid fuel values at all. Like, it, it is borked on fluid fuel values. So if you're trying to figure out how much fuel you need to fuel a... Uh, a glass works it's it does not work it will tell you something like 18,000 units of fluid per second it is it is not uh, compatible it is it is not functional oh well I don't I don't know about cold coke consumption it seems to work okay for me for telling me how much fuel I need for uh, powerhouses so we would go from 5834 which is our current build 5834 up to the uh where's the where's where's this this thingy to 8334 So, a whole 25 units flat more per second of chromite sand. That's uh, a bit. That's a, a bit more. No, I'm talking about the powerhouses themselves. It. Do I even have that still? I don't, I don't think so, no. Uh, so, powerhouses take fuel for power not the actual like outside of the recipe itself and Helmod will tell you how much uh, of the assigned fuel that you can manually assign the, what type of fuel you want to throw at it uh, that it will consume and that has been okay Ste like why why would you do steam generation stuff the steam gen is one to one from the water input or do I have that backwards I forget I forget things sometimes uh, I have like when I'm looking at the the powerhouses the 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 steam is not what you're using here the steam cycles back and it is always going to be one to one the water into steam out it will it will always be one to one water in steam out You're not making steam out of this. You're making combustion mixture. You mean like coal for steam generation, but you're not using powerhouses for that. You're using regular boilers for that. You're not using this. You're not using this for that. You're using boilers for that. Regular boilers. In which case, 
the regular boilers, you don't even... Why would you even need Helmod for that? Why would why would you even need Helmod for, to tell how much stuff you need to throw into boilers? I mean, it's it's pretty it's a pretty easy calculation, honestly. A single boiler can make up to sixty units of steam per second. A a boiler can make sixty six zero units per second of steam. Even the oil burners follow the same thing. It is 60 units at 1.8 megawatts of consumption. And if Coke has a fuel value of 5, which I'm pretty sure it does, if Coke has a fuel value as of 5, it's 1.8, or it's 5 over 1.8, or bleh, no, other way. 1.8 divided by 5, that's 0.36 units of coke per second per boiler. Producing 60 units of steam. Uh, and for the tin, I think it's, it's 10 steam per mining operation, and each mining operation is uh, 1 second. So it's 10 steam per second. So one boiler is six mining drills. So just divide however many mining drills you have by six. Uh, round up. And that's how many boilers you need. And then multiply that by 0.36. And that's how much coke you need to feed those boilers. Okay, uh, so I think my ultimate determination here is that I am just not going to do a dang thing as I, uh, as I almost get hit by a train. Is that full? That has 5,000 units. This is functioning. This is, it, this is still moving. We are almost there. We've almost got the thing. Uh, so I just need, like, lots of stuff now. Uh, electric arc furnaces. Electric arc furnaces. These things. Uh, I need a, probably a few more than that. Thanks. Uh, so I will be going into Helmod and changing this by adding that. 272.3. Uh, yeah, so I, I knew I needed a few more electric arc furnaces. Uh, it's, a, it's a bit of borax and coke and also a bit of carbon dioxide. That is, uh, that is a little bit of carbon dioxide. Hmm. Well, I have a little bit being made here. Just uh, a, a little bit being made here. for, ah, this process, too. I will be completely replacing this process with the molten. Oh, that also means sand castings. Right. Right, so I'm also going to need uh, thingies. Thingy with doohickeys. Yes, casting units. Because we will still need to keep chromium flowing. All right, where's my casting units? Wherefore art thou? That is, this is an icon I know. Uh, so theoretically, uh, it would be twenty-two. Uh, just it's it's just a little bit of chromium that this would make, by the way. Just a uh, just a a little bit. Uh, but we're not going to be using all of it for the chromium, clearly. We are going to be using it for nichrome. Uh, yeah, that stuff. Uh, so I should have more than enough molten chromium to even consume all of my molten nickel, and I'm not going to be consuming all of my molten nickel. Uh, advanced foundries, huh? All right. 
cool. So the way that I'm going to do this is I will actually make a whole bunch of the Molten Chromium, and I will prioritize it to not go into plates so that the excess goes into plates. That is how I will do that. Now, I have casting units up there already, so I don't actually need these. I am just I just thought about that. It's like, oh, don't I have like a whole bunch already of the casting units already up there? Like, yeah, you do. So I don't, I don't actually need them at all. This could also be an opportunity to upgrade some things to Mark II and reduce the size of stuff up there, but nah. Nah, the whole point of this is to help ultimately increase the output of Circuit 2s. Hey, by the way, in case you were wondering why we were doing all this, uh, let's make this flow. It's to uh, it's to make to make the optical fiber flow for the for the circuit twos in particular, but also the neuroprocessors stuff, which uses the optical fibers, because we are very much limited by uh, stuffs. Oh, Kevlar, right? We are being limited by the Kevlar at this point. Wait, what? Kevlar? Kevlar? Ah, yes, so the TCL is being limited by Nichrome. Our good friend Nichrome. That is, that is this stuff. The, the glorious TCL. Nichrome. Because it's always going to be Nichrome. So, this is a problem we're solving right now. Uh, frankly, even this one machine isn't actually enough, so I need to make even more of this i need i need more probably just upgrade this to mark ii like i have here with this guy but then i need more like even more liquid nitrogen overall if everything is going to be you know flowing all at once so rectosols mark ii rectosol might be in the uh immediate future uh, and this would also mean more aramid by having the tcl giving me like flowing. Uh, the the reason why I need more than twelve point five is because I need that for this if I want this to flow. So I need more than that if I also need it for the Kevlar out here. So what I will do is I will head up, find whatever the hell the new icon is for the Rectosol. Oh, this is going to be fun. Okay, it's learning time. What is the new icon for the Rectosol? It is that. It is that. So we've got a big round circle with a semicircle connector to a thingy. Where is that? Oh boy. Because I know I have all of this. Here, here it is. Found it! Found it. Now to do the Mark II of it. And slowly let it accrue. Granted, again. Circuit twos. But it will slowly, but surely, uh, accrue there. And for reference, I am trying to hold back on all of the transitioning into Mark II, because uh, that consumes a lot of stuff. In case you didn't notice, in case you were not aware, uh, Mark II buildings use a lot of resources, and the last thing you want to do is uh, suddenly need a ton of resources all at once. Uh, which is going to be the case for each and every single uh, Mark II machine that you want to make. So while yes, you want to eventually be making all of the Mark II machines, uh, don't do so all at, the, all at the same time because they'll just be competing over the extremely limited resource of Circuit 2s. And I guess neuroprocessors as well, technically, uh, at this point. 
just just to keep that in mind. It is a it is a transition that you need to do, not a sudden thing. Do it, do it all at once. I won't need this anymore, will I? No. I won't. I won't need this anymore. I will go ahead and pin this just so that I am aware of the uh, extra stuffs that I need. So yeah, I won't I won't need any of this, which is great. Fantastic. Uh, I have four per second on sand castings, which is sufficient. Which is sufficient. Uh, what about the production of you guys? Yeah. That is what will be the limiting factor here. So I need 11.67. So, you know, uh, a few additional ones. Uh, am I not requesting the high pressures? Yes. Doink, doink, doink. So that immediately increased this by a factor of three. So I went from one to three just immediately by upgrading from Mark 1 to Mark 2. Because high pressure furnaces, oddly enough... By doing plus one to crafting speed uh, on the Mark II version, it's actually triple the speed of the Mark I's. So, yay! That immediately helps. Uh, that means I need 11 of these total, which is one more than I have. Yay. Likely also need additional pylons. Uh, no. Need additional high-pressure furnaces, clearly. I need I need one more than what I'm carrying. Which is sad. And I can apparently only fit ten on this line, which is even more sad. Actually, I know. I need two more. Because I need twelve. I need twelve of these things. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, kill this. Because uh, you're going to reroute further down. There we go. Ta-da! 12.